Brad. I'm with Dave Gornowski, and Dave, tell us a little bit about your international and national podcast that you currently host. Well, I appreciate that opportunity. You know, I've, I've spent a long time in media, worked as a writer at various news outlets, some of the biggest news outlets in the country and the world, in fact. Uh, actually, then I went into radio broadcasting, and it's now evolved into podcasting. Podcasting seems to be the future, and uh, we have found great success with many of the guests that I have, newsmakers, world-class intellectuals, philosophers, doctors, you name it. It's a variety show what we do on my program, The Neighbor's Choice. I, I often say it's kind of a, an apocalyptic Mr. Rogers for the moments, because <laughs> we cover everything. <laughs> that, that's, that's very interesting. I, I like that. And I understand you had a very uh, recent interview with someone pretty well known in the wrestling and political circles. Yeah. Uh, I think you're referring to uh, the mayor, Glenn Jacobs of Knox County, Tennessee. I uh, just did an interview with him, and man, what a great man that guy is. He's been at it in, in, in uh, leadership as mayor. Now he just got reelected in 2022, so he's got another four-year term there that he's uh, serving right now. But he's got such a heart for his neighbors. You want to talk about a good neighbor? This is a guy who he fought for the kids to make sure they were taken care of during the pandemic, didn't let them get bullied by draconian laws and overregulations. really has a, a real ethical principle stand for liberty, and the interview was so great, I decided I'd, I'd write up a little a piece to kind of uh, kind of reflect on where he's going. I think he's got a huge, big future in politics, and of course, as you mentioned, uh, he's a WWE Hall of Famer. Kane, I mean, come on, Glenn Jacobs, Kane. This is one of the biggest stars in, in the wrestling industry, so it's kind of cool. We go back, him and I, a little bit in, in politics. Uh, back when I was in uh, younger years in radio, but to see where he's going politically, and, and now here I'm in the wrestling business, it's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting to see where it goes. Will you be doing any more interviews with him anytime soon? I hope to. You know, I think he's very busy. He's he's not afraid to share his opinion about things. He's not politically correct, but he is. Uh, he's got a folksy Americana charm to him. So uh, I have nothing but love and respect for for what he's doing. He stands up for liberty. He stands up for peace. You know, I don't think we need more of that. Less war, more peace. Absolutely. And uh, Dave, you know, what I was thinking was maybe be possible sometime soon, uh, Dory Fung Jr. and I can do your podcast from Japan. How would that sound? That'd be great, man. I have a history. I love Japan. I went there when I was a kid and had a lot of fun singing karaoke and doing all kinds of great times. Uh, Got a little incident, uh, funny stories I could share all day with that. So I'd be glad to see what you guys are doing in the land of Japan. It'd be cool. All right, that's great. Dave Gornoski, world-class podcaster. Thank you.